the my best qualities as a footballer and how I maintain these qualities. Okay, I, I have a lot of qualities, but my best would obviously be my speed and my strength. How I maintain my strength. I'm naturally strong. I am naturally strong, but I do work out on a daily basis, at least four times a week. I don't, I don't bulk up, I just do a lot of explosive training. I focus a lot on my core and my back and my shoulders because I need, I need my shoulders, you know, to you know, push and fight around, you know, that's, that's my type of game and how I, mean, how I maintain my speed is I take good care of my hamstrings and my muscles. I foam roll every single day, I foam roll before I train, I foam roll after I train. After I train, I foam roll at least a good 10 to 15 minutes. Before I train, I foam roll like for 5 to 10 minutes and stretch. So that's what I do to maintain my speed and everything I do when I train, I do at 100%, if not 110. I do everything fast. Speed makes a huge difference as a footballer. Like me being fast is already an advantage for our team or the team I play in against our opponents. So I'm already a threat. If you have speed, physical speed, you're gonna be a threat. And you get mental speed, you get speed of thought if you if you have that as well. It's another threat. With your with the speed of thought, you can eliminate a lot of players because they wouldn't know or expect you would have done this or that. Yeah, so speed makes a huge difference. Um, what does it take to become a professional footballer? It takes a lot. It takes hard work and dedication. Sacrifices need to be made. Prayer, you need to pray to whoever you believe in. And you need to have a powerful a powerful mindset. If your mind is weak, you're not gonna make it in life. That's, that's it, so you need to have a powerful mindset. Model as a football and why? My role model would be Ronaldinho, obviously. Because he just, he was just amazing to watch. He he played with a smile. He made everything look so easy. He, he was just amazing. So yeah, Ronaldinho would be my role model. There were quite a few. We had the Sedans and, and them, but that was Ronaldinho. And. Uh, what message do I have for upcoming footballers? My message, respect the game, try and, work, try and improve yourself in every way possible, every day, work hard, work hard, work harder than the next person. If you're young, respect your senior players, do not back chat, ask for advice. If you don't agree on something, thumbs up, do not fight with senior players. Go to him after training, ask him whatever, do not talk back. Um, everything you do, do it with passion. Never play for yourself. My biggest advice would be never play for yourself. Find someone to play for, find someone that depends on you like your mother, your father, your grand, your brothers. If you have kids, play for them, play for them because if you play for yourself, it will be so much easier for you to just give up if you're tired, for example, in a game. Or just say you you quit. But if you know there's someone at home, your daughter, let me say your daughter or your son, that depends on you, you'll never give up. So never play for yourself. I got that from my mentor, Colin Benjamin. Yeah, and you know there's time for everything 
manage your life, you know, prioritize things, everything that's important, put it first, the rest let it come later, you know. How did I feel when I scored at the AFCON? Uh, I was I was very tired when I scored that goal. I don't even know where I got that energy from to explode and go and score that goal. But I was very tired. Before I scored, I asked for the goal to take me off. But yeah, in the at the at that time, I was a bit you know. I was like, oh, fine, I scored. But it was okay, man. But we lost. But I, I was I was just so tired that I didn't know what I, I was I was I, I didn't know what I was thinking. So it only it only hit me that I did something great that I made history when I got to the hotel and I checked my phone and I saw all the messages and everything. Then I was like, I actually did something big. And then when I got back to Namibia, when I got to the airport. I had a lot of support, my family was there, and yeah, then it actually hit me that I did something good, so then I started feeling good. But the, the moment that I scored, I wasn't feeling anything, I was basically numb.